Welcome back to the Knit Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today's tutorial is all about Knit 1, Purl 1, Knit 1, all within the same stitch. I ran into this in a pattern and I didn't know exactly what this was. So I had to ask my mentor to show me how to knit 1, Purl 1, Knit 1, all in the same stitch. So that's today's tutorial and let's talk about this pattern real quick and let's talk about the concept. This pattern is called the Texture Afghan. It's a free pattern available on Yarnspirations.com and this one has the Trinity stitch which appears here in the gray that you see here. Beautiful texture work. Now this is achieved by Knit 1 Pro 1, Knit 1 all within the same stitch. But exactly how do you do that? So today's tutorial I'm going to show you just that concept. I'm going to do another tutorial of just the Trinity stitch by itself and later on coming up we're going to have a full project using this complete stitch coming up as well. So without further ado let's show you. Let's grab our knitting needles and let's show you how to knit one, pro one, knit one all in the same stitch. So let's begin. So I have just cast on my stitches. In order for the Trinity stitch to work it has to be an even number. So it has to be 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So it could be any uh, even number as long as it's even. So don't do any odd numbers. So using the first one what happens is that we are knit the very first one in a row. So we, let's just knit as normal. So just the knit stitch and now we're going to do the knit one, purl one, knit one all within the same. So watch how it's done. So see where this yarn strand is. It's in behind right now because we're ready to knit. So we're gonna go into that next stitch and we're gonna wrap that back needle and pull forward. But usually what happens is that we slide this yarn strand up over the needles and it's done. But we're not done. So that was knit one. So now what we have to do is rotate this strand back to the front as if we're going to purl because we are going to purl because this is purl one. And just going into that same strand just like you were already and you're gonna come in from the front side. So you're gonna purl around that. So take that strand and wrap it around that knitting needle on the front side and push it through to the back. But we're not done. So it was knit one, purl one, knit one. So to knit the final one move that yarn backward and then going into the same strand one last time going in and then wrapping it from the back and then you're done. Okay so now you can just slide that off just like that. So this one is about knit one, purl one, knit one all in the same. So let's just show you how to do it again. So to do it is you go into the needle or you go into the loop as if you're going to knit because you are going to knit and wrap it from behind. Okay, so you pull it forward but do not slide that off. What you want to do is move this yarn forward on this side. Going into the exact same stitch you're gonna purl. So just going uh, wrapping around. Okay, pushing it back. And then finally uh, you want to knit the final one. So move this yarn strand back and going into that the same one again and knit like that. So what you're doing in, in, in really when you think about it is that you're making one stitch into three. So I just grabbed an accidental ply. So once you get all three done is that you just slide that off. So let me show you again one last time. So you're going in. Okay, so you're going into knit. Wrap it. Pull it forward but do not slide off. Move the yarn strand forward. Okay, now going into that same stitch on the forward side. Wrap it. Okay, this is your purl but do not slide off. Move this yarn strand back and going into the same one. Sorry, I do apologize going into the same one for a knit. I will show you just one more time to make sure that you got it. Okay, so just slide that off once you get all three done. So going into knit through the back, going forward but do not slide off. Move the strand forward going into the same strand. Okay, to purl. Okay, to take it to the back and then finally move this yarn strand back and then just knit or sorry just knit that last one like so. Once you get all three done slide off. So let's speed up. So knit. Okay do not slide off. You're going to purl. Okay and then you're not sliding off yet. Just and then you move that strand back and then you knit that final one. So this is how you knit one, purl one, knit one all within the same strand. Just make sure your tension is really good and you should be good to go. Till next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Knit Crowd as well as Yardspirations.com. See ya. Bye bye.